Yeah, hey guys, welcome to another lecture for contemporary issues. Today we have a topic that is, um, how would I say, probably like really hot topic for this week. Number one, because it's election week. Yay, November 3rd, big day, very, very big day for our country. The future will be decided. What will happen? Nobody knows. Ah! Um, but anyway, uh, I'm not going to talk about all that because I'm sure you get more than enough of that uh, in your own day-to-day -day life. And so what I want to talk about, one of our standards is it says, identify and explain groups and individuals involved in current Tennessee issues. And what's interesting to me is that a lot of people really are way, way, way into the national election, but a lot of those same people probably don't actually know that much about Tennessee politics. And honestly, Tennessee politics and our leaders really probably affect our lives a little bit more than who's in Washington, D.C. Yes, I know the president is important and all. However, we live in Tennessee. We don't live in Washington, D.C. And yes, I know we are a United States or whatever. But I think our local leadership is more important and um, the idea of them is underrated compared to how much attention gets paid to the president. So what I want to do today is I just want to go through uh, who all of our state congressmen are, uh, all the representatives for the state of Tennessee, where they come from. Um, I'll show you pictures of them and I'll show you who our governor is. That's him right there. That's Bill Lee. I'll zoom up. And I'll zoom in and show you more. Um, and just kind of what they believe. Now, there are a lot of political issues. I mean, it's everything from education to uh, abortion. I mean, just across the spectrum. Um, I kind of wanted to pick some that were less hot topic, but also some that were hot topic, like gun control. Um, and, but so I picked some like the economy, which is really not controversial, but then gun control is controversial. So I wanted things that were like, Hot topic, but also not super hot topic, because I don't want anybody to get upset or frustrated or anything. And my goal here is not to believe, not to be political. Um, those of you that have been in class, and then those, then even if you watch my videos, it's pretty clear. I'm pretty anti-politics. I don't get involved in any of that stuff. I believe that what you believe is your right, what I believe is my right, and it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're both human beings, and we need to respect each other regardless of what we believe about politics. So. So um, we're going to go through these, and I'll tell you what all these guys believe. Now, I'll tell you most of them, um, they do, well, really, 7 out of 10 of the, or excuse me, 8 out of 10 of the people that we're going to talk about today are Republican. Um, and if you know Republican political ideals versus Democrat, um, and we'll talk about that too. So um, just keep that in mind as we go through it. And uh, yeah, and so your assignment that is going to be related to this is that you are going to actually make some decisions regarding each of these issues. So the issues I went with were economy, education, gun control, healthcare, and climate. And all of these people, if you go to their websites, if you just Google them, you can find out everything about what they believe about all the issues. So not just these five. These were just the five I chose, and if there's some others that you want to talk about or want to look into, feel free. And you can email me, and I can even uh, look that up for you if you'd like to. So um, before I get started, let me check and make sure the video is looking good before we get going. It looks pretty good. And let's do this. All right, so Tennessee is divided into nine districts, and I went ahead and included uh, the governor as well, who is Bill Lee there. Um, and I guess the best way is just to go through it uh, right away. Now here are the districts that each, one's represent, each one represents. Um, I didn't list them down here, but you can refer back to this uh, if you need to. Now what you really need to know, the one that's very important to us obviously is Bill Lee, who is the governor. He is kind of like, I guess, He's the equivalent of the president of Tennessee. The governor kind of has the same powers as the president within the, each state. Um, but the one that you need to know, our representative, his name is Scott Desjardins. That's his last name right there, fancy, fancy. And I'll show you a picture and we'll talk about all of his uh, beliefs on the issues. Um, and then you can see where the rest of them come from. So Scott Desjardins is our representative in Congress and then our governor is Bill Lee. Uh, another one that might be kind of important to you, because I know a lot of you um, might want to move to Nashville one day, his name is Jim Cooper. That's, uh, he's the next one there. Um, but let's just go through it. All right, so like I said, the governor of Tennessee is Bill Lee. This is him right here. Cool. Hey, Bill. Um, and as far as the economy, he believes in that the, uh, the governor, the, excuse me, the United States government and our government need to save more than we spend, which is currently not happening at all. And you're going to see that's kind of a trend among all these guys that they want to get down on government spending. They want the debt to be less. 
um, and they want uh, America to kind of get back on its feet and get out of debt. Um, because the U.S. debt is very, very high and continually growing. I believe the last I saw it was like 27 trillion, trillion, 27 trillion dollars in debt America is. And our GDP is something like 19 trillion, which is really good. Um, however, you want the GDP and the debt to be pretty close to each other. And unfortunately, the debt's gotten higher. Anyways, um, so like I said, more saving than spending. Uh, Bill Lee himself is a very successful businessman. You've probably seen some of his trucks and vans driving around the Lee company. Um, I believe they do air conditioning, I think. Uh, but anyway, his company, when he stepped away from it to be governor, his company is worth something like $250 million. So pretty successful businessman. Um, as far as education goes, he wants our schools to focus more on career and technical education. Uh, and we have a big program for that here at Rockvale. Uh, he is pro charter schools and what charter schools are is um, charter schools tend to exist in big cities like Nashville and Memphis and they give students a choice uh, so a lot of inner city schools kind of are failing for different reasons and charter schools come in they're from some outside company in America and uh, they offer the school kind of a private school experience um, and so Bill Lee likes this because he sees it as a way for inner city kids to get out of the public school system. All right, moving on to gun control. Uh, Bill Lee is pro-guns, he likes guns, and he says while he is in charge, he is not going to put any regulations on any class or type of gun. If you remember a while back, there was a big uh, debate over um, assault rifles or whatever, and uh, people were like, we need to get rid of assault-style weapons. Bill Lee is not into that. He says you should be able to have whatever kind of gun you want, really, as long as it's like legal. You know, you can't have fully automatic stuff like that. Uh, as far as healthcare, he wants to include more funding for mental health, which is a really good thing. I think uh, anybody would agree with that. Um, and he does not wish for a government controlled healthcare system. So he's into the idea of a private insurance uh, free market system where insurance companies compete for the lowest prices, okay? Um, so that does not guarantee healthcare for everybody, um, but it does, if it goes his way, the free insurance, or not a free insurance, free marketplace for insurance, uh, it would drive costs down because competition would be higher among that. So, uh, As far as the climate, he is kind of opposed to any kind of regulations or any kind of rule changes. He feels that regulations hurt farmers. He's big on helping out farmers, which Tennessee is an agricultural state. Um, so he opposes any kind of regulations because he feels that that would hurt, farm hurt farmers. Excuse me. Wow, can't talk. All right, now. The next group, the following people, they are all representatives, and uh, you can look at where each one is from. The next one is Phil Rowe. He is from extreme upper northeast Tennessee, so we're talking up like around Bristol, like very, very far northeast Tennessee. And you're going to see a lot of these guys, they have pretty much the same views on pretty much across the board, okay? So it should go a little bit quicker. So Phil Rowe, Upper North, Northeast Tennessee, he is, says less regulations for the economy, so that means fewer taxes, fewer rules, and he believes that this will expand America's businesses and grow our economy. And it is true that less taxes do grow the economy. However, um, it also puts less money back into the communities. Now, the idea is that less regulations will grow business, businesses will expand, they'll give more jobs to people, and more jobs makes the community successful. And it is true. However, taxes also help. So, um, and I'm just explaining both sides. I'm not stating my opinion. I'm just telling you how both sides see the things. Okay. For education, he is anti Common Core. Common Core is the national set of standards that Washington D.C. came up with a few years ago. That says each state across the country needs to meet these minimum standards uh, in class and what they learn. Uh, Common Core does put a big emphasis on testing and it's kind of the system we use. They don't really call it Common Core anymore, um, but it puts a nationalized set of educational standards. So that's why, I, honestly, that's why we're kind of learning this stuff today um, because this is a, one of those standards. So um, he, support, he also supports lowering the, high, the cost of higher education and he wants to focus on mental health. So that's very good. And he wants the states the anti-common core thing means he wants the states to have more power in making decisions. He doesn't want the federal government saying, oh, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, you need to be learning this. Okay? All right, Phil Rowe, he is pro-guns, and uh, he thinks fewer gun laws would be better. Um, he also, just like Bill Lee, he does not want the government to control health care. 
Uh, and he wants to go with that free marketplace of insurance too, where companies will compete with each other and drive down the costs, okay? Now, Phil Rowe does believe in to continue using fossil fuels. However, he thinks that they could be used more efficiently. Um, he wants to get away from dealing with foreign countries when it comes to fossil fuels. Um, but he, he does, he's interested, if you look on his website, he is interested in renewable energy sources, okay? And by the way, I think I mentioned this before, but I did get all of this from all of their web pages. Uh, Phil Rowe's web page is pretty good. Tim Burchett, this guy, uh, he's the Knoxville representative. Uh, and I'm not talking bad about him, but his website does not give a whole lot of information, um, except about this part. He does, he's really into guns, um, which is fine, you know, do your thing, whatever. All right, so Tim Burchett, uh, he's kind of, he kind of just copies the rest of them, and you'll see a lot of these guys just kind of copy each other on their beliefs. Um, he does not want any more federal spending. He wants a balanced budget for the government. He says the debt's way too high, and we got to fix that, okay? Now, something that's interesting about Tim Burchett is that he has a degree, a bachelor's degree in education from the University of Tennessee. On his website, there is nothing about his views on education, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, I looked up stuff about his views on education, couldn't really find anything. So, Tim Burchett, we want to know, what do you feel about it? Uh, maybe I'll call him and get him to come visit us one day. He probably won't, but anyways, especially not in COVID time. All right, anyways, like I said, he is extremely pro-gun. Uh, like, it, it's like on his website, it's like pro-guns, yeah. Um, he's a proud gun owner, he put that on there too, and he is in favor of more gun rights and less gun laws, okay? He does not believe that the government should get involved in insurance, and like the others, he wants a free market insurance system. He believes that insurance companies should compete, which would drive down prices. Um, just on the opposite side, and I'm not telling you what I believe, I'm not putting any opinions on that, the problem with this, though, is like if you get away from government-controlled insurance, the people who are poor and cannot afford any insurance, the free market system is not going to help them either because they can't afford insurance regardless, okay? So even if insurance prices go way down, it's not really going to be helpful to those people, okay? But that's not, again, I'm just saying what the facts are, how it works, okay? And he is down with fossil fuels. Uh, he talks in uh, on his website about how he is okay with offshore drilling. He wants to look in Alaska for different fossil fuels and uh, not super worried about climate change, okay? All right, so there's Tim Burchett. All right. Chuck Fleischman, or Fleischman, I'm not exactly sure how to say it. Uh, he is kind of East Tennessee, but closer to the middle. Uh, he's, he uh, is also into lowering the federal debt. Again, kind of the same thing popping up. You'll see that in all this. Uh, he's, lower, he's into lowering the federal debt, and he's also into less government regulations, less taxes on business. He believes that if you have to pay less taxes and uh, have less rules to follow, that businesses will grow. That is true. Um, it is good for the economy. However, when you have less taxes, there's less stuff that the government can do for the people, and it kind of relies on local communities taking care of each other, which is fine. You know, it is what it is. Um, but, you know, more taxes helping the people is also good. Again, I'm not trying to be political. This is a weird topic to discuss, so I'm just trying to, I don't want to be offensive or anything, so anyway. Uh, again, just like the others, he supports vocational career slash tech education, uh, and he believes that the federal government needs to stay out of state education decisions. He thinks what's best for Tennessee should be left up to Tennessee teachers. Um, he is also, and he's just like the other guy, he is super into guns, he loves guns, uh, if you see it on his website. He's a member of the NRA, the National Rifle Association. Just like the others, he's all about the free market insurance system. He doesn't want the government to be involved in insurance, and he thinks it's going to lower health care costs all around. Um, he's not super worried about climate change as far as with regard to fossil fuels. He thinks America should be energy independent, meaning continue drilling in America, continue digging up our gas and mining, all that stuff. Uh, and he said, but he does, he's interested, it says on his website that he wants to look more into renewable sources as well. All right, Scott Desjardins, uh, the Middle Tennessee one, he's our representative. Same guy, uh, or same as the other guys, lower taxes, less regulations, uh, so smaller government. Uh, more STEM and technical education, so science, technology, engineering, and math. And he also believes uh, states should lead, it should be left up to the states to decide. Uh, now, he's also pro-gun. He says no new gun laws, leave the gun laws alone. We've got the Second Amendment, he believes in it, all that stuff. Same thing with insurance, free market system, doesn't want the government involved, and he wants to continue America using fossil fuels, okay? So you can kind of see a trend here. And it's interesting because all the people we just discussed, 
um, they're all Republicans. So you can see how all their views are kind of all in line together. Now we've got one different here. This is Jim Cooper. He is the Nashville representative, Davidson County. So he's Middle Tennessee as well. Um, but he is actually a Democrat. So you're gonna see his views are quite different, okay? Um, he is, he does, and he's actually been nationally like praised and he's received awards. He's like worked really hard. He's been a, he's been in power a long time. He's worked really hard in government to get the U.S. to lower the debt. Um, and he's really big on wanting the government to tell taxpayers how their money is spent. He's not necessarily anti-new taxes or for new taxes, but he just wants transparency, um, which I think is really good. I'm going to state my opinion on that one. I think this part is actually really good. The government really should be telling us exactly how our money is spent. Now, he switches from the others here. He wants federal government control of education and school decisions. Um, and the reason why is because when the federal government's involved, they send us a lot more money. And I'll go ahead and tell you, Tennessee does receive federal funding, and it's why we do the old, what they you know, used to call it Common Core. They don't call it that anymore. They call it TN Ready now. Um, but that is how we get more money from the federal government. And money in schools is never a bad thing. Um, I know these other guys say, you know, we should be left up to make our own decisions, but if we do that, we're gonna receive less money. Again, that's just kind of fact. Um, I'm not really, you know, it's, it is what it is, you know, it's politics, so. And again, I'm not trying to be offensive or anything. Anyways, so he's down with the federal government being involved in schools. He wants to expand preschool. He thinks preschool should be way more available um, because, you know, learning does start very young. Um, so he kind of wants like universal preschool, like everybody to go to preschool, which is fine. And then he pushes for more affordable college, so that's cool. Um, Jim Cooper, he is pro-gun ownership, however, he is not as big into guns as the other guys. He respects the Second Amendment, but um, these other guys, if you go to their web pages, it's like, yeah, guns. Um, his is not really, he doesn't really touch much on that, okay? Now, big switch with Jim Cooper and the rest of them. He is okay with the government starting, you know, doing Medicare and having government ownership of health care. Um, but he kind of sees both sides. He says, yes, let's do government controlled insurance, but let's also have the free insurance or free market for insurance, free marketplace for insurance. So that way the prices do continue to fall. Um, so he sees both sides. He does want the government involved to have Medicare for people who can't afford insurance at all. However, he does see both sides. Um, he is down for fossil fuels to continue using that. America is probably never going to get away from fossil fuels. Um, but he does want to continue to expand the search for clean energy. So you can see how he is different than the others, okay? And what's interesting is that he is part of Nashville, which is a big, big city. These others, they don't, we, these other districts don't have as large of cities as Nashville. And you'll see Memphis, the leader from Memphis, he's quite, quite different. He's a lot like Jim Cooper, and he's even more extreme in these views, okay? All right, so that's Jim Cooper. And let's move on to John Rose. So now I believe we're in kind of western middle Tennessee. Um, he's just like the other guys besides Jim Cooper. Less government regulation and taxes, so he wants to grow businesses. He is anti-Common Core. He does not want the government involved in education. Um, and he says the states need to be the ones making decisions. Uh, on his website, it does, he says, I am a lifelong member of the NRA, so he is into guns. Um, so there you go. Uh, so he's anti-new gun laws, obviously. He is strongly against the government getting involved in healthcare, and he wants that free or free market insurance system. Um, and then on his website, there is nothing about energy or climate. Um, it says like contact the office or something if you want to know his views. I looked up quotes and stuff. I looked up everything to try to figure out what John Rose's views on climate and energy were. Couldn't find a thing. So interesting. Anyway, moving on. Let me grab a swig of water real quick. They got the heat on today. It's getting kind of warm. And I wore my hoodie. Hope y'all having a good day. Tomorrow's Halloween. Hope y'all have a good weekend. Stay away from each other. Don't breathe each other's air. COVID's going around apparently. So, all right. I think we got three more. So the next one is Mark Green. Now, I'm not picking favorites at all because y'all know I don't like politics. I'm not into politicians and all that stuff. Um, you know, we've got a weird history of politics in America. But this guy as a person, I think has a pretty cool history. He is a former army ranger and he was a medic in the army. And he was actually part of the team that captured Saddam Hussein in Iraq. Um, and I know that y'all were young when all this happened, but uh, he was one of the people who had got to interrogate Saddam Hussein. And he wrote a book about it, which is pretty cool. So he's got kind of a cool history behind his uh, political image. Now, as far as politics go, 
He's kind of just like all the others uh, that are up here, except for Jim Cooper and the Memphis guy. Lower taxes, less government regulation, um, you know, wants a small government. He does not, he is fully against the federal government. It's big on his website. He is fully against the federal government getting involved in education. He wants complete control to go to the states. And he also believes that people should have a choice on where they go to school, which is kind of interesting. Um, he wants fewer gun laws, and if you go on his website, just like a lot of these other guys, he is really, really into guns, and you'll see that on his website too. Again, same deal, free market insurance system, and no government interference in healthcare, which is interesting because he's a doctor. Uh, the first guy, Phil Rowe, I believe is his name, he's a doctor too, so it's interesting that they believe this. I wonder if, what that says about insurance. I honestly don't know much about insurance. I had to get Mr. Sessoms to help me with mine the other day. So. <laughs> Um, and uh, Mark Green, he says that he doesn't believe humans have caused climate change. It says that on his website. He says humans have not done this. Um, so he's obviously down with continuing using fossil fuels and just kind of keeping things the way they've always been. Okay, that's Mark Green. Uh, he is West Tennessee or Middle West Tennessee. And then we got David Kustoff and uh, Steve Cohen will be our last one. So David Kustoff is this guy. Um, he is West Tennessee. He wants to reduce the federal debt a lot like the others. Um, and what's interesting about him, this is a little different. He's into, he wants to create some government programs for disaster relief. And one of the reasons why is because West Tennessee borders the Mississippi River. And pretty much every year the Mississippi River floods and it's usually pretty bad. Um, so this would actually probably be involved with more taxes. So he never comes out and states openly, we want more taxes for this. But he does say on there like, hey, we need some, we need some more programs and that would cost taxes. However, he's down with reducing the federal debt. Um, just like the others, he's not in the Common Core. He doesn't think the federal government um, should be telling us how to teach, uh, but, and he wants the states to have more control over education. He is pro-gun. I looked up his voting history as far as when it comes to gun control laws. He votes against new gun control laws, okay? Uh, he also, just like the rest, wants a free market healthcare system, does not want the government involved in healthcare. Uh, and just like the rest, he wants to continue to use American fossil fuels. However, it does say on his website uh, that he is open to any options for affordable energy. So he's into non-renewables -renew and all that stuff. So, All right, Steve Cohen, radically different than the others. He's more in line with Jim Cooper, and it's, it makes sense because he is a leader from Memphis. And so just like Nashville, Jim Cooper, Memphis, Steve Cohen, you see this the big city leaders usually want more taxes because it's going to help the poor people. Cities have a larger population than poor people, okay? Um, and you'll see he is radically different, okay? And Steve Cohen and Jim Cooper are the only Democrats on the list. Uh, Republicans are all the others. And you can kind of see just the differences and how the Democrats are similar and the Republicans are similar, okay? Uh, so Steve Cohen, he wants more government programs to help the poor, so that means more taxes. He also wants to raise minimum wage to $15 an hour, okay? He does support the government getting involved in education because like I said earlier, when the government does get involved in education, they do give the states a lot more money, like a lot more money. I'm talking like hundreds of millions of dollars, okay? Um, and he wants more access to college for poor students, all right? Um, Steve Cohen, like I said, he is from Memphis. And if you know about Memphis, um, there is it's a high crime area. So he is very, very down for many more gun laws. If you look on his website, it goes into detail about all the laws that he wants to start for guns. And a lot of them are not like, like wanting to take away guns. It's just like different punishments for different types of gun violations. Um, and it's because Memphis does have a violent crime uh, problem. So he does want many more gun laws. Uh, he is a strong supporter of the government control of healthcare, so much different than the others. The others say government stay out of healthcare, stay out of education, stay out of this. He wants the government to help out. And the reason why, like I said, is because he's from a city. Cities tend to have larger populations of poor people. Um, and so he wants the government to come in and help out these poor people. And one way they can do it is to control healthcare. Because when the government controls that, then they can give it, they can, it's kind of like the universal healthcare idea, okay? And uh, he's much different from the others too, in that he wants to invest in what we say cleaner options and renewable energy sources, all right? Now, I'm just giving you the basics that I pulled from the website, from their, these guys' websites about what they believe. Again, I'm not trying to step on anybody's political toes or anything like that. I'm just telling you what this is, and that's our standard. Um, politics is a super weird, controversial thing to discuss right now, and it kind of makes me uncomfortable that I have to teach it, but it is what it is. It's fine. Um, I highly recommend you do your own research and kind of figure out your own beliefs about these people. And what I want you to do, I'm going to pull up the assignment. 
I'm going to pull up the assignment and show you um, what you, I want you to do, okay? So here's your new assignment. Let me zoom in so you can see it. All right, anyway, here we go. So what I'm wanting you to do, it's a CI 26 assignment. Notice what it says. There are no wrong answers to this assignment, okay? And I am not judging your political views. I simply want to know what you would do if, let's say you took over one of these guys' jobs. You were elected to be a congressman for the state of Tennessee and go to Washington, D.C. and represent the people. So I'm not judging you. I, you know, I, like I said, I'm not political. What your views are, that's fine. You know, believe whatever you want to believe. That's the beauty of America. We can believe what we want to. So um, I just want to know what you would do if you were given a leadership uh, position. So here's what the deal is. Um, so I'm asking you questions about what you would do with the economy. Would you have more taxes or less taxes? Would you, um, what, what would you do with the economy, basically? And it's kind of the same deal. Uh, education, should the, government, should the government stay out of education, should the government be involved in education, etc, etc. Gun control, what actions would you take regarding guns in America, leave them alone or make more laws. Uh, healthcare, same thing. And then uh, climate and energy. So basically what I, my goal with that was just to kind of show you what these guys believe who are our representatives and they're supposed to represent us or whatever. Um, and then may have you make decisions based on what they, like you learned about them, now what would you do, okay? Um, and if you need some help on that, let me know. Um, if you're interested in what I would believe, just out of curiosity, um, I can tell you that too, but I'm not gonna tell you like just openly. Um, we can have a discussion about that if you'd like. Again, I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes. I'm not trying to be weird with politics or anything. It's just such a weird time. Everybody gets so wah, crazy with it. Um, but yeah, hopefully you learned at least who the people are and kind of what they believe. And if you have any questions, let me know. Hope you have a great day. Email me as always if you ever need any help. Visit my website where you can look at this and download this and look at it. I highly recommend Googling every single one of these people because you'll learn some interesting stuff. I honestly didn't know much of anything about any of these people. Um, and now I know a lot, so it's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, let me know if you got any questions. Email me, be in touch. Best of luck, good luck on the assignment, and have a great day. Bye!